Hey guys, it's Dami, and I'm going to be doing another subscription box review. This box is going to be the Degusta box, and as you guys know, I'm pretty new to the Degusta box, but my first box, which is the um, the review that you guys saw before, um, I was pretty excited about it, and um, from the responses that I got from you guys, you guys are pretty excited too. Um, so I got my second box. Um, got it pretty fast. I feel like I just reviewed the last one, which is crazy. Time is just flying. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not going to talk too much because I'm really excited to see what's in here. Now, uh, you guys know this is the Degusta box. It is a food box. So you literally get all type of food from like cakes, candies, baking stuff, um, cookies, just drinks, whatever, like honey, just random things. Um, so anyway... This is a really heavy box. So this is a little Degusta box. And uh, you guys can see this. This box is really heavy because it's packed with food. And all of them are full-size items. Like, you're not getting samples. You're getting full-size products here. So this is what it looks like inside. Right here, all wrapped up. It says, open me, eat me, enjoy me. Make sure I don't spill my coffee. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it eat it and tell you guys all about it. So the first thing I have here um, is the recipe, which they always put a little recipe in here. Um, and it's always about, you know, it always features one of the products and stuff or just a few of the products in here. Um, so anyway, this recipe is pear and es escarole salad with cello, cello parmesan whisk. Okay, the cello whisk is what I have in here. So this is the recipe right here. And um, now this is considered the January box, okay? Um, and so I know it's not January, but when you get, like, last month was technically the, the December box for this month, and then this month is the January box, um, and then whenever January comes around, I'll be getting the February box. So that's how this works. So this is, these are all the products in here. Um, and what I like about it is it also gives you uh, the prices of the products. Okay. Next, I have some coupons here. So I have a 50 cents coupon for Welch's fruit and yogurt. A coupon for Go Organically Fruit Snacks. Oh my gosh, my favorite. Some information about aloe juice, which if you guys haven't tasted, I know that's in here. I'm so excited. Um, anyway, a 50% off healthy pop, jolly time uh, popcorn. All right. So, let me remove this. The first thing I have here is. Goatsies, treats since 1895. Good grief. Chewy caramel with a cream center. So I have this. Now, I'm going to tell you I'm not a big fan of artificially flavored stuff. I'm really not, but... Oh, man. I need to open you. So you guys know I'm going to try everything in here. I've never even seen this in the store. Then again, I usually don't go towards the candy aisle. It smells good. It smells real good. Um, so this is the product. This is a little chewy thing right here. And it's vanilla flavored. not my thing but whenever I have guests they always come to my house and say I don't have normal food I get a lot of Swedish chocolates and quarter chocolate so they'll like something like that they can have that next the cello artisan cheese whips parmesan cheese crisps that's what you saw in this um, little recipe right here. All right. So now this is natural. No artificial colors or flavors. Let's go ahead and taste that. This is what this looks like. Ooh. That's 
very cheesy. Ooh, <laughs> that's strong. It's good, but it's very strong. That definitely needs to be crushed up and put in something, cause that's strong. Really good, but strong. Whew. Okay, next, McDonald's Indian Korma Curry Sauce. Okay, my husband's going to go crazy. Proudly made in Ireland. Now, don't say what in the world. Like, they make stuff all over. All right, so this is some curry sauce. So I'll probably, it's Christmas, I still have leftovers. When those leftovers are done, most likely by the end of this week, probably get some chicken and make that the rice. It actually looks really good. All right, next, little bite. Aw, Entenmann's, party cakes. I remember Entenmann's. Growing up as a kid. One thing I do miss is Entenmann's pumpkin pie. They stopped making it, I think. But I remember when I came to North Carolina. They definitely did not sell it here. I was really sad. So I'd have to ask my friends back home to mail me some. Okay. Entenmann's Little Party Cakes. They're actually pretty good. I know they're not healthy, but Entenmann's makes pretty good stuff. All right. Next. Mm. I get a box of Jolly Time Healthy Pop Butter. Okay. 100% whole grain. So, pretty cool. Um, oh, and then inside I get a free uh, Red Box movie. I think I'm more excited about that than popcorn. All right, next. I got a lot of stuff in here. Welch's Fruit and Yogurt Snack, strawberry, natural and artificially flavored. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and open this. So you get these little bags like this. Put this over here. This is what you get in there. <clears throat> and these are some it's a bit wider. Okay. And then this is what these little balls look like. first taste them, well, they're not too bad. They're not something I'd buy, but I'd, I'd eat a bag if I was like, if I was kind of hungry. Next, instant tea, ginger honey crystals, original flavor, Prince of Peace. Hmm. Okay. Product of China. It's pretty cool. I've never seen. See, and that's the thing I like about this box. Like half the stuff I've just never seen. Now, granted, I'll tell you, I just don't go in like the chip and cookie aisle. So even if they were on the shelves, I'd never see them. Um, but I've I do go in the tea aisle. Oh come on, whatever. All right, so this is what they look like. Oh, and there's a little, in, there's some information about Prince of Peace Enterprises, and they sell other products here. Tiger Balm. I've had that before. Okay. So it's Children's Rehabilitation Center. 
Prince of Peace Children's Home. Okay, so it's like a little charity. We give to charity. So this is the products right here. Um, so they're ginger honey crystals. Each sachet contains concentrated extracts from 6.5 grams of raw ginger, which is the base for the appealing aroma and exquisitely smooth taste. The natural sweet and spice flavor makes this a year-round favorite drink. Serve it hot. It will warm you instantly. Cane sugar, honey, and ginger. That's all that's in here. Now, if you, for you guys who are tea drinkers, you know ginger tea is the best, especially uh, during the um, winter months because it's cold. You're outside. You get a scratchy throat. And the first thing that you want to do is have some ginger tea. So this is pretty awesome. Can't wait to try it. All right, next we have Smart Kids Bar, Aloha Pineapple. Okay, so let's try it. No, uh uh, uh uh, no, uh uh. Uh-uh. No, that's nasty. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Ooh, that's bad. That's real bad. I love pineapple. I can eat pineapple every day, but that, mm-mm. Uh-uh. That's, mm-mm. Mm nasty. Anyway, next. Go organically fruit snack. Now, I love fruit snacks, so hopefully this is good. And it's all supposed to be all natural. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff in this box. I'm not done either. So you get a lot for your money. So this is what the little bags are like. Okay. And I like them because they're really small. Really small. So... So, you're not bad. Hmm. Yeah, these are not bad. They're pretty decent. Pretty decent fruit snacks. I like those. Those are good. All right. Next. We got limited edition Hungry Jack Complete Disad Water Pump mm -mm -mm, Pumpkin Spice Pancake and Waffle Mix. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've only had one pancake mix, complete pancake mix, that I actually thought was amazing. But nine times out of ten, complete pancake mixes are disgusting to me. I haven't had Hungry Jack in years. Okay, because we always had Aunt Jemima, um, or my aunt would make, like, fresh pancakes and stuff. So, um, but I tell you, the fact that this is pumpkin spice, I know my husband's going to be, like, ready to make this Saturday morning. I know he is. And it's just add water, because he's too lazy to add milk and eggs and all that stuff. So, um, actually, I might just surprise him with these and make them for him. He'll like them. All right. Next, actually the last item, something that I love, aloe, the aloe drink. It has aloe, cucumber, and cantaloupe. Um, I actually drink this already. I drink the one that's mango. Um, my husband likes the honey one, and I had the one that's pomegranate. I've had the watermelon, and the watermelon one is actually not really that tasty um and they 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 have a lot of them this one is is less sugar i've never had one that was less sugar i'm gonna go ahead and try this but i love the aloe drinks i think they're amazing so there's only seven grams of sugar in this i don't know how many grams the other one is because i honestly i've never really paid attention to the sh how, how many grams of sugar are in things and the only reason why i started paying attention now is because my dad's like 
I can't have all this sugar and, you know, I don't want to have so much sugar. So, um, what is that in there? Okay. When I see stuff, like, I get scared. Like, I mean, that's the aloe. That was the aloe. It's okay. I'll tell you one thing. It's much better than the... It, it tastes similar to the watermelon. The cantaloupe and the cucumber together, I feel like really makes it have that watermelon taste, but not as strong. This one is actually a little bit more bearable. That's not bad. It'll be better cold, but... That's not bad. Um, so it's aloe light. All right. So those are all the products in my box. I'm going to go through everything I have. I'm going to give you the prices of them. And I'm going to explain to you how the Degusta box works. So the first item, I'm going to just go down the list. Mind you, these are all full-size products. The Welch's Fruit and Yogurt. $2.99 a box, so let's just say $3. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you know the Degusta box is $20 a month, $18.99 um, biannually. So, I do the monthly, um, and I like monthlies in case I just want to just go ahead and cancel. Um, so, $20. So, right now, everything needs to be at least $20 or more. So, that's 3 bucks. We have Jolly Time. The healthy popcorn, $3.49, right? So it's like $3.50. So we have um, $6.50. This aloe drink is $1.99, $2. Um, so like $8.50. Where's these whips? Oh my gosh, this was so strong. Um, this is $3.99 per bag. So um, what are we up to? Three, six. Eight fifty, um, twelve fifty, twelve fifty, and then we have the McDonald's Indian Korma uh, curry sauce is two ninety nine, um, so fourteen fifty. Um, the Prince of Peace ginger honey crystals, two dollars sixteen fifty. The Go Organically um, fruit snacks is like $3.99, $4. So, so it's like $20.50. We hit our 20. Keep going. Now, of course, this is just more like a little sample. You do get one sample in each box, but for a box of these, um, your box includes one pouch, which are available in five count boxes for a retail price of $4.69. So um, this would probably be like not even a dollar, maybe 75 cents or something. I don't know. So we'll just say like 15, 25 or something um, or 15, whatever. Not 15, 20, 50, 20. So let's say like $21, something like that. Um, Hungry Jack, $3.99. So, like, $25. Yeah, $25. And then, something's missing. It's that. Then we have the Aloha Pineapple. Oh, these are $1.29 each. So, um... 2630. Um where's the where's the cow stuff? You know this happened in my other box where I wasn't able to find out how much a product costs. So I'm gonna go online and just find out right quick. This is called mini cow tails. Oh don't use mini cow tails. So, 
a bag of this is like 310 so we have about just say $30 worth of stuff in this box I spent $20 that's not bad at all um I think my other box it was more but um either way this box is worth the $20 um, per month so um let's see what did I think about this box I think my the first box I got was the bomb it <laughs> made me just like say this is the box for me um this box is still not bad I still don't think it's a bad box um I definitely could probably use less candy because I'm not a big candy person only candy I really eat is like chocolate and they're imported chocolates um you know or I do go to Ikea and get those awesome Dane bars but for the most part I think it's pretty cool um, again there are some products in here that I don't like but I know my husband likes so I don't feel like it's a waste of money because it's like a box that we can share um, but I mean the aloe juice the crystals the ginger honey crystals um, you know the the little um, fruit snacks and stuff I love that. I think the fruit snacks are pretty good. The popcorn, I'll give that a try. I'm terrified of popcorn ever since, the, you know, I've realized every time I eat it, the kernels get stuck in my mouth, irritate my gum. And then um, the little bites and stuff, they're awesome. I'm actually going to just keep those out because I'm just eat the rest of those. Um, but yeah, so that's my Degusta box. And then, of course, I have, um, as I showed you guys before, what is a free flex band? I don't know. Um, so anyway, and I have coupons and stuff. So if I do like something, I can go ahead and get them. Here, here's information about the aloe drink. They have all these different um, flavors and stuff. Um, but yeah, so now the Degusta box. So like I said, it's $20 a month. Um, what you do after you get the box um, if you go into your little dashboard, you'll see that there's questionnaires. Um, so for each questionnaire, you receive five points, and the questionnaire is about all the products and stuff in your box. Um, I noticed some of them were not back-to-back. -back. Um, some of them, it said I completed it, and then maybe a few days later, another questionnaire popped up. Um, what else? What else? Like I said, you can do $19.99 a month or $18.99 um, by annually um, something that I just realized too and I thought was pretty awesome I was doing one of the questionnaires for a product in my previous box that I hadn't seen up there and it gave me the option to um, instead of answering the question just like typing it I was able to do a video response um, and at first I wasn't going to do it because I thought it had to do a video and then upload it but what they do is they actually just use if you have a webcam and a mic on your computer they'll just use that and just have to accept um, accept it and you'll just do a video and they'll ask you a simple question and be based on one of the products in your box um, I think it was like what it means to me what the certain brand means to me what I like about it I mean I don't know if they ask you the same question all the time about different products um, but I was able to record a video um, and my response as opposed to writing it and they said I would get a free box now to me that's pretty awesome because I love this box um, I'm still kind of cheap so I'm like oh, $20 like that's a lot of money for a box even though I spent $20 in a day just going out to eat but um, you know I think that's pretty that's pretty cool to me you know I think that's pretty cool um, so, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll see how, how that works. And when I get my next box and stuff, um, I'll tell you guys if that, if I actually got the free box or if they're just choosing people depending on your response. I don't know. Some other things about the Degusta box, they allow you to temporarily pause your subscription, which is another reason why I really like this box. There's a lot of subscription boxes where, um, you know, if you, are gonna go away for two three months or something out the country you have to cancel your box and start it all over again um, and I found some people were quite annoyed because say you have a promo like say you got um, you're getting a certain box and, and you're getting about 50% off your box 
every month because, you know, you signed up during a certain time or whatever. But when you cancel it and you sign back up, you're not getting that same, um, getting the box for that same price. You're getting it um, at the, the current price, which I think is not really fair. Um, so at least this lets you temporarily pause it. Now, I didn't get this at a discount. My first box I did, it was $6.99. And now, from now on, it'll be $19.99 unless I get that free box. Um, or you have the option to cancel it. But anyway, I love that feature. I think that's amazing. It is free, it is free shipping. Um, points. So they also have a point system. A point system. A point system. And um, so right now I have 70 points, right? Um, so I have 70 points. And then points needed to get a free box is 100. I don't think that's bad because if you think about it, I just signed up for a Degusta box, like literally, okay? This is my second box. Um, I made sure I answered all the questionnaires. Um, I'm not sure if they give you more points for video. I don't know. Um, but I think that's pretty cool to have 70 points already and to only need 30 more points to get a free box. I think this is well worth it. I feel like you're saving more money, whether you go annually or bi-annually. Um, I mean, not annually, monthly or bi-annually. Another thing you can do um, is you can actually go back into, go up there and go to our boxes, and they'll show you all their boxes. So, for instance, for 2016, now I'm not sure if they just go back six months or, or how that works. But for instance, I can click on July, August, September. So for instance, I'm going to just click on July. And they will tell me all the products that came in that box. So I can see everything here. Which I like because, for instance, they had our almond milk. I would have liked that we you would have got walnut, almond, or pistachio. I've never had walnut or pistachio milk. And I never knew that that milk alternative was even available. Um interesting um but anyway like i said you can go in there and see some other products so for instance um i definitely am interested in trying that walnut and pistachio milk because i never knew they had that so i could see the brand i can also click on that brand they'll give me some information about it um and then i have the option to go onto their site see if i can order it or see where i can find it and i can also read the reviews just like when i do the questionnaire and I can um, write a review on here as well for each product, which I haven't done yet. I think I did that for one product, um, but I'll start doing that as well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that is pretty much it about the Degusta box. Um, it's definitely a box that I'll keep. I can't wait until I receive my next box. I'm pretty excited. Um, and my husband likes the box too, so that's another reason why I'll keep it because we... There's always something for both of us in here. Um, but yeah, so I mean, other than that, um, I think it's a great box. Um, definitely not as good as the, the last box, but um, again, I was introduced to um, some products that I already know of and products that I've never heard of or never would think to even, even purchase. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about any of the products in my Degusta box or... Um, questions about the Degusta box in general, um, feel free to ask me. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more reviews. Bye.